Welcome to the new Controversy channel. Politics, pop culture and opinion. Hello everyone, I'm Lucas, a guest commentator with the new Controversy. And here are my initial thoughts on Mexico. It's only been three days, but already it seems obvious to me that I'm not wanted here. Okay, so let me explain. After nearly five years of research, which included YouTube travel videos, cost of living info from sites including Numbio, and countless other resources, I've become convinced that Mexico was a top choice for newbie expats like me. But I'm not one to act haphazardly. I'm more methodical, especially when it comes to uprooting oneself and relocating to a new country. So believe me when I say I did my homework. In fact, one might argue that my homework was overdone. I had all the information necessary to begin a new life. Apart from fluency in the language, I was quite prepared for life in Mexico. And despite the delay in making the move, I was satisfied with my due diligence. I would much rather be overprepared than the opposite. And so my dog Pepper and I set off for a new life in Mexico. We arrived in Mexico City, AKA CDMX. I had already chosen a lovely Airbnb pad in La Condesa months ago. The area, along with Roma Norte, are considered nice spots for expats starting out in Mexico. I'm currently staying on Fernando Montes de Aca. I absolutely love the neighborhood. So peaceful and lots of greenery. But my opinion may be slightly biased as someone coming from a decrepit urban environment like New Orleans. Still, I had high hopes for what might be possible for me and Pepper. My studio is small but charming. There's a private balcony where I'm currently typing this editorial. And I couldn't be more happy with my hostess. With all this in mind, why in the world would I begin by saying, I'm not wanted here? Well, I believe it's due to my race. Now don't get it twisted. I'm not one to drop the race card. I've traveled the world and have experienced far more than your average American. I've dated women who are Filipino, German, Polish, Australian, French, and Swiss. A person's nationality means very little to me. In Southern California, where I've spent the bulk of my life, I've worked with, hung out with, and even lived with Mexicans. Last year, I spent Christmas and New Year's with friends at their home in Chihuahua, Mexico. So I can say with confidence that I know more than most about Mexican culture. So why do I mention race as a reason for concern? Let's put it this way. If you are the only black person at a taco stand, shopping at a grocery store, or dining at a restaurant, and the employees are hesitant to serve you, then yes, I think this is a cause for concern. Mind you, I've viewed hundreds of hours of YouTubers who sang praises of the customer service they received. I've personally seen Americans who were not only provided quality service, but were also offered extras for no reason at all. Many of these YouTubers were here in La Condesa. I've walked the exact same streets and visited the exact same venues they recommended. These YouTubers grasp of Spanish is no better than mine. So I asked myself, wait, no. I mean, I really sat down in my apartment last night and asked myself, why is my experience here so vastly different from the others? Why are locals in La Condesa treating me the way the KKK treated blacks in the US? I'm a seasoned traveler with great respect for other cultures. After hours of reflection, I could come up with nothing other than my race as the reason for the cold and unwelcomed response I've received. Perhaps there are black Americans out there who have had different experiences. If so, I'd love to hear from you. As for non-blacks who have either visited or are currently living here in Mexico City, I would greatly appreciate your thoughts as well. Are my perceptions of Mexico warped by travel YouTubers? Has my life in the U.S. clouded my judgment? Please share your thoughts. I'm always open to different points of view, and I certainly would never throw the race car without good reason. So thanks for listening, and thanks to the new controversy for providing me this platform. Remember to leave a comment below, and if you haven't already done so, consider subscribing and ringing that bell to be notified of the latest from the new controversy. Cheers. This has been the new controversy channel. 
If you find value in our content, please like, subscribe and share.